Hello everyone. So in this video, we are discussing about Pega DX API. So using Pega DX API, there are many things which we have, uh, which we can uh, see here. Okay. So like you can see attachments, case types we have. Uh, yeah. So through this Pega DX APIs, we can do uh, using uh, you know attachments. We can go with the get the uh, case types. We can work on assignments, cases, collaboration, and data. But in this in this particular video, we are uh, looking out of how do we add attachment to the existing case. So for this, we need three things. One is one existing case should be available with you, and the other one is one API for uploading the file, and other API to add that particular attachment. So these three things are required. So for this, I am just going with V1 Pega API over here because my application was in um, was in uh, uh, Teams Cosmos and uh, yeah it is on themes cosmos that's the reason i am going with the service package uh, v1 pega api even we can go with pega v2 dx api also let me let me check this yeah we can see over here so even this also provides you many things okay like assignment uh, you can see attachments we can see cases we can see document we can see followers we can add followers even we can add followers participants related case details we can even tag we can see the case types okay so man, there are many things over here in uh, the in the d2 uh, v2 sorry v2 dx api so uh, our requirement over here is talking about attachments so that let's see that so as i was saying right uh, so to attach first we need to upload the file so this is the uh, uh, this is the uh, url which we need to talk about so if you click on this post and uh, click try it out and execute then it would be uh, giving you the request url okay so what this request url i mean what we have to do with this request url is it would be providing as id so this is the id where your uploaded file uh, would be uh, you know would be there so this it would be taking uh, i mean the response of this particular post or response of this particular um, API is what it would be giving us ID so that ID is important to us so how do I do that I'll go to the postman so just click on uh, new um, so which is of post so go to the post and then add it and click on send so before sending it but where are you doing the um, where are you uploading the file right so that request body is not with us right so that we need to do it and before uh, working on that we need to also check what is the authorization type also okay what would be the authorization type so i am working on now pega uh, v1 a pega api itself you can also do with the x api too uh, but make sure you have https uh, tls and ssl is uh, enabled so this is a local host so it was not enabled for me uh, but the 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 way we have to do for adding attachment is similar so first what we need to do is we need to attach uh, an upload uh, we need to do the attachment so that it will be giving us an id so take that url okay so take that url so for this what i did is as i am saying you so i just do did some uh, uh, changes here i am not asking any authentication and all so that's the reason my api will also not ask me or in this postman also it is not possible to add not required to add those things so we have to change this uh, post so authorization is nothing but how do we upload the document so in the body you need to select form data and here add the content and what is the type of your uh, key here uh, the key type is file and select a file which is from your uh, uh, anything okay so i'm just selecting something over here like this and clicking on send okay so then that would be providing you what it would be providing you the id so this id is important for us so let that let that be there so next what is our next uh, 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 thing is we need one case to be uh, created in our application so i'll take one of the case as um, i2006 uh, which is already having some uh, attachment but still i want to do add one attachment to this particular i uh, this particular 2006 case so go to the clipboard um, and py workpage 
take the PZ INS key of it. Okay. So this is the PZ INS PZ INS INS key of that particular case. I'll just add over here. So it's not important, but I'll just I want this to be there here. Um, so that I can copy again. Um, then what I have to do is I have to go to the Pega API and what is the next one we have to go back to this um, so this one add attachment okay so let me take this so what's the case ID case ID is the one which we have taken and the request body is this one so request body let's copy this request body okay control C and uh, we take this as post so I'll take body body raw and text as JSON and add over here okay so this is my request body so type yes file category as yes, file uh, name I'm I can we can take any name so I can say it as sample file sample file okay and ID as I said you right the ID is the one which we have uh, generated in the previous call previous api call so what's the previous api call this is the id so just copy this id copy provide it but what's the uh, what is the uh, url here which we have to add so the url here we need to add is okay so the url which we need to add is go back to the pega api so if you check this, if you check this, we have a URL, try it out. So I think we need to provide case ID. So that's the reason it is not showing up. So let me add some case ID as something like that. So that my, uh, it will be providing me with URL. So this is my URL. Okay. So copy this URL, control C, go back to your postman. So what we need to add here? we need to add the param the key value the case id so this is the case id remove this so our case id is this one copy okay anything else no authorization body anyways we added so url we don't have any url just keep it as empty um, type sample file and everything you can even add your px create data and all those things and click on file yes we got 201 as created that means our file has been attached to our file let's go back to the pega api pega dev studio and check whether it is being added or not action refresh you can see there is a file added with a sample uh, file so you can see here it is empty because I didn't I didn't add who created it so you can even add that so that it would be coming up over here this is a sample file which we are uh, which we added in through the pega api okay so this is how we do it similar to that even even through uh, dx api also we can do it we can just try it so even for that also <coughs> we have same uh, procedure thank you